And good afternoon ulit to everyone. Okay. Uh, we're going to present about the sprinkler systems gawa sa Germany. And so next slide, please. So, yun, we should define sprinkler system first. Sprinkler system is an integrated network of hydro hydraulically designed piping installed in a building, structure, or area with outlets arranged in a systematic pattern which automatically discharges water when activated by heat or combustion products from a fire. So, aware naman tayo dito since uh, sa ating university ay merong ganito sa mga hallway natin, sa corridors natin, dahil ito yung safeguard natin sa ating, uh, when it comes to hazardous events and yung mga accidents na related sa fire. So, when a fire or a heat or combustion product uh, was in contact with this one, magkakaroon bigla ng... Uh, magkakaroon bigla ng water discharge to prevent the fire from uh, from uh, becoming hazardous enough na magkaroon ng too much uh, too much na <clears throat> para masaktan yung mga tao. Tagalog na lang. <laughs> Next slide. Ah, yes sir. Next slide, please. And so, National Fire Protection Association 13, the industry benchmark for design and installation of automatic fire sprinkler systems. NFPA 13 addresses sprinkler system design approaches, system installation, and component options to prevent fire deaths and property loss. As I've said earlier, ayun yung aim ng uh, mga sprinkler system para... Uh, ma-prevent yung fire deaths and property loss. And ito namang uh, NFPA 13, ayun yung nagkakaroon ng uh, parang approach in, para sa maayos na installation and yung mga component options para magkaroon ng magandang design para sa uh, mas magandang flow ng sprinkler system ng isang establishment. And mas mas maganda siya to uh, easily prevent yun nga, yung mga accidents, mga ganun. And next slide, please. And uh, is ang next speaker. Yeah, so, uh, good afternoon po. Uh, section 10.2.6.5, automatic sprinklers and other extinguishing equipment. Uh, this come from sa guideline ng BFP ng ating farmers no ito ang kanilang general provisions number 1 automatic sprinklers sprinklers if required by division 8 through division 17 of this chapter shall be in accordance with NFPA 13 standard for the installation of sprinkler systems number 2 all automatic sprinkler and stand standpipe systems required by this code shall be inspected, tested, and maintained in accordance with NFPA 25 or standard for the inspection, testing, and maintenance of water-based fire protection systems. Records of conducted maintenance and testing should be maintained and submitted together with FALAR 3. So yung FALAR 3 po ay, ang ibig sabihin po niya is Fire and Life Safety Assessment Report 3. So, kung 3 siya, may 1 and 2 po siyang kasama. So, yung color 1 po ay ginagawa po yung inspection ba, hab, bago gawin yung... Habang, tin, habang dinedesign po yung certain building na yun. So, i-check na, i na po yun kung paano yung system i-install dun sa certain building na yun. Tapos, pagkatapos pong ma-construct yung building na yun, may another inspection po, yun po yung color 2. Tapos titignan po kung okay po ba yung mga, kung gumagana po ba ng maayos yung sprinkler, naka-install po ba ng maayos, tapos sa tamang lugar po ba siya, tama po ba yung distance niya sa bawat isa. Tapos yung color 3 po, after ng total completion, may design yung ready to open yung talaga pwede na pong gamitin yung building. Uh, Tichek po ulit. Doon na po babagsak yung Fowler 3. Tapos 
titignan po ulit. Hindi lang po, uh, titignan lang po kung okay yung system, kung gumagana, kung nakaka-detect po ba nung maayos yung smoke yung sprinklers natin. So, Yes po sir, parang nan, nandito po siya sa nasa klase. So number three, where a required automatic sprinkler system is out of service for more than four hours in a 24-hour period, the owner shall notify the nearest power station immediately upon discovery but not later than 24 hours and a fire watch, fire watch shall be assigned until the sprinkler system has been return to service. So, speaks for itself naman po itong general provision number 3 na ito na makikita naman natin na once nagkaroon ng problema ang system ng sprinkler, kailangan agad-agad po i-report to, no? Para once nagka-problem, nagkasunog po kasi syempre pag hindi po gumana to, eh yung prop, yung damage po, mas lalala. So, kailangan i-report po siya agad dun sa nearest fire station. So in number four, sprinkler impairment procedures shall comply with NFPA standard, NFPA 25 or standard for the inspection, testing and maintenance of water-based fire protection system. So yung NFPA 25 po is ipo yung isang klase din po na uh, parang provisions po para dun lang sa pagka pagde testing ng mga Sprinkler systems natin para po ma-prevent yung fire. So, next speaker po. So, next, let's talk about the supervision, uh, the supervisory signal. Hindi, <laughs> sir, yung provision yan, sir, ang galing po yun sa BFP. Okay. Yes, sir. BFP po. Okay na po, sir. Sige po. So, supervisory signals. Uh, supervisory signals indicates that there is an issue with one of the systems that are attached and monitored by the fire alarm system. Uh, sometimes a small hole in the pipe can allow air to escape and will not allow the compressor to meet the demands of the system. Uh, meron din tayong dalawang types ng supervision signal. Uh, yung una is off normal signal, yung pangalawa is restoration signal. So ang off normal signal, siya yung magtitake place siya kapag uh, magtitake place siya kapag ang sprinkler device ay na-reach na niya yung point of its operability, kung saan ang sprinkler operation is possible to be impaired when an abnormal condition occurs. Uh, a supervisory switch or some other devices will signal the alarm control panel about the problem. So, yung restoration signal naman, siya yung nag indicate sa sprinkler system na mag-return dun sa normal operating condition niya. So, Doon naman tayo sa alarm, six system, uh, alarm signal transmission. Uh, the intent of this is to allow the newly developed technologies to be used that meet requirements in section 26.6. That is the communication method of supervising station alarm system and uh, section 10.6.7, the secondary power supplies. Uh, because new technology has been proven to provide a reliable alternative to phone lines. So next slide, please. So other, other automatic extinguish equipments, uh, automatic fire suppression system control and extinguish fire without human intervention. An um, example, uh, Automatic system, uh, fire sprinkler system, gaseous fire suppression, and condensed aerosol fire suppression. That's the example of an automatic extinguish equipment. Then, dun tayo sa manual extinguish equipment. 
uh, whether it is a portable or fixed manual firefighting system, it is important to use that the right type of equipment, which must be clearly and correctly marked to be confident that it will meet the rigorous requirements necessary for the safe and reliable use. Uh, and approved by the LPC, LPCB uh, Loss Prevention Certification Board. Ensure that the manual fire extinguish equipments meet the requirements appropriate standards. As with any fire safety equipments, it is recommended that they are correctly installed and maintained by the third party approved contractors. So, next presenter, please. Thank you. So good afternoon po ulit. So ito pong nasa image nasa image po sa taas, yun po yung mga examples po ng combustible co commodities. Unfortunately, hindi po na sa aming class 1. So bibigay ko na lang po yung description ng class 1 combustible commodities. So naka-state po is class 1 commodities are essentially non-combustible products on wooden or non-expanded polyethylene solid deck pallets in ordinary corrugated cartons with or without single thickness dividers or in ordinary paper wrappings with or without pallets. Class 1 commodities are allowed to contain a limited amount of Group A plastics. So yung about po sa Group A plastics, these are a type of plastic materials na yung heat of combustion niya must much higher than that dun sa mga ordinary combustibles. Mas mataas po siya sa group B plastics. So, examples po ng class 1 commodities is yung mga alcoholic beverages with not exceeding 20% of alcohol, appliances that are non-combustible, cement in bags, ceramics, dairy products, dry insecticides, frozen foods, glass, etc. Tapos, next po is class 2. Nasa, nasa picture naman po. Uh, class 2 com commodities are class 1 products in slatted wooden crates, solid wooden boxes, multiple thickness paperboard cartons, or equivalent combustible packaging material with or without pallets. Class 2 commodities are allowed to contain amount of amount contain a limited amount of group A plastics. Examples of these are Alcoholic beverages with not exceeding 20% of alcohol, foods in combustible containers, uh, incandescent and fluorescent light bulbs in cartons, thinly coated fine wire on wheels or in cartons. Then yung class strip po. Uh, these are commodities that are made out of wood, paper, natural fiber cloth, or group C plastics or products itself. With or without pallets, products are allowed to contain limited amounts of group A or group B plastics. So yung group B plastics, ano po siya? Combustible din po siya, pero hindi po siya unlike ng group A na mas matas po yung combustion. So next is, so how state po dito is, group A, group B plastics such as metal bicycles with plastic handles, pedals, seats, and tires. Examples ng class 3 commodities are, combustible fiberboard, cork or baled, feeds bagged fertilizers, food in plastic containers, furniture, wood or metal, with plastic padded and covered armrests, glycol in combustible containers not exceeding 25%. These are... Yes, sir. Uh, sir, kasi, kala, kasi naka, kailangan po naka-arrange po yan para hindi po, para malaman ko po kung gano'n po ka-intense po siya in times of ano po, fire po. Parang ginag, kailangan po organisado po talaga, naka-group po. Opo, sir. Opposed. 
Opo, tsaka din po yung tsaka din po yung tsaka din po yung mga materials po sir kasi hindi naman po lahat pare-pareho si po nung response po when it comes to fires po So, next is class 4 commodities. These are class 1, 2, or 3 products containing group A plastics in ordinary corrugated cartons and class 1, 2, 3 products with group A plastic packaging with or without pallets. Group B plastics and free-flowing group A plastics are also included in this class. Examples of these are alcoholic, be alcoholic beverages with more than 20% but less than 80% of alcohol in cans, bottles, or cartons, clothing in synthetic or non-viscose, combustible metal products, which are solid, furniture plastic upholstered, furniture wood or metal with plastic covering and padding. So in nasa table, table po, in table 16, yun po yung ano yun, yung sprinkle, sprinkler discharge densities for combustible commodities not exceeding in 640 centimeters in height by hazard classification. So, naka nagay po dyan by from class 1 to 2, 3 to 4, ay 2 to 3, then 3 to 4. Then next din po is from table 17, minimum areas of sprinkler discharge for combustible commodities by hazard classification. So, kung gano po ka intense po yung hazards niya from low hazard average high to very high hazard po. So, yun lang po. Next presenter. So, sir, ito po yung ano, classmates. Ito yung parts ng ano, ng isang sprinkler. So, itong orifice na to, ito yung nakakabit sa tubo. Kasi ito yung opening eh. Dito manggagaling yung water supply sa orifice. Tapos itong threading, syempre para isasalpak mo dun sa tubo. Tapos ito yung plug. Diyan magsisimula yung ano, yung kumbaga yung shower. Tapos itong bulb na to, ito yung parang pinaka-sensor niya. Kasi once na makadetect yan ng fire o kaya ng smoke, ayan may color coding yan, matutunaw to. So ito yung pinaka-seal nung, ano, nung sprinkler. So once na natunaw to, magsisimula yan mag-sprinkle ng extinguishing chemical or tubig. Itong finish na to, ito yung pang-structure, pang-support. Tapos itong deflector, Para ano, yung tubig kumalat or yung kung ano mang extinguishing chemical yung gagamitin dito. Next slide. Next presenter. So, Hazen with, Hazen with Liam. Uso. Ito sir kasi yung color coding, di ba? Ito po yung given na color coding. So, kapag ka nakadetect naka yan ng temperature, sir, yung init po, yung init, depende sa nakalagay na, na seal, depende sa kulay, matutunaw siya, sir. So, Kung itong pinakamababang temperature, so syempre mas mabilis siya. Mas mabilis siyang matunaw. Kaya ito yung, kumbaga, mas mabilis mag-react. Kumbaga, usok palang init, mag-aano na to. Tapos kapag ka, ito namang mas mataas, yung itim, kailangan talagang yung very high temp na bago mag-activate. Uh, 
Opo sir, tapos matutunaw po siya or para ma-activate yung ano, yung sprinkler. May ano po yan sir, yung pipings po niyan may valve hanggang maubos po yan sir. Or kung i-deactivate po mismo dun sa master valve nung ano, kung wala nang sunog sir. Sir, for this example po kasi ano, ito yung mechanical type. No po, sir. Next presenter for the equation. Yes. For Hazen William equation. So in this equation, HF is frictional head loss, V is velocity, L is length of pipe, R is hydraulic radius, K is conversion factor, C is Hazen William roughness coefficient, Q is flow rate, D is pipe diameter, and S is slope. So the equation is HF equal to L over R raised to 1.17 multiplied by V over KC close parenthesis raised to 1.85. So the formula for the circular pipe flow is HF is equal to 10.7L all over D, D raised to 4.87 multiplied by Q over C close parenthesis raised to 1.85. So the formula for open open channel flow v is equal to 0 0.849 c times c times r raised to 0 0.63 times s s raised to 0 0.54 for the q is equal to 0 0.2785 times c times d raised to 2.2.63 multiplied by s raised to 0 0.54 for the for Darcy's waste back equation, the formula is HF is equal to F multiplied by L D multiplied by B squared over 2G. So, C value increases with increasing internal smoothness and increasing pipe diameter but decreases, decreases with pipe age. So, plastic pipes have half F have higher C value, which is 140, than iron, than iron pipes, which is 130. C value to negligible extent is affected by changes flow in rates. So the type types of pipes, so I, cast iron. So C1, yung C1 niya is 64 to 130. Tapos yung C, yung C niya yung N1, N12845 yung ano niya. Isa ka yung sa iron, sa cast iron, 100. Tapos yung ano niya, sa BS, BS9251 tsaka NFP, eh, ano siya, wala siya. Tapos yung sa cement, cement line, ano, cast iron, yung C1, yung C raised to 1 niya, ano, wala siya. Tapos yung sa N, 130, yes, wala. Tapos yung sa C, 140. So, for copper naman, yung C raised to 1 niya is 130 to 140. Tapos yung N128 niya, ano, 140. Tapos yung ano niya, yung sa BS is 140 din. Then sa NFPA is 150. So, sa ductile iron, is C1 raised to 1 is, ano, 120. Tapos yung sa N12845 niya, ano, 110 tapos yung sa BS wala din sa FPA is 100 tapos for ano for galvanized steel C raised to 1 is 1 ano 1, 120 tapos sa N is 120 din tapos sa BS wala then N NFPA is also 120 so, the mild steel is yung C ano niya raised to 1 is 122 150 tapos yung sa N is ano 120 tapos yung BS 120 NPA 120 rin tapos sa mild steel pero ano siya dry and reaction system ano siya yung ano 
yung si Race to One, tapos yung N, tsaka BS. Ang may value lang sa kanya yung ano, NFPA, which is 100. Tapos, for plastic, for plastic, ano yun, yung si Race to One niya, ano, 140 to 150, tapos yung sa N, ano, wala siya, tapos yung sa BS, 150, Uh, same lang din siya sa ano, yung NFPA 150 din, 150. Tapos sa uh, Span Cement, yung si, ano yan, si Race to One is wala. Tapos yung EN is 130. Tapos yung BSN, NFPA is wala siya. Tapos stainless steel is, yung si Race to One is wala rin. Tapos yung N is 140. Yung BS is, yan, wala. Tapos si NFPA is 